workout done, took a shower, and that means that I can start attacking this day, like attack, attack, starting with the breakfast. <coughs> Look who's here. I better start making some more eggs now. Have you warned me? I have brood eruit gehaald. Look at the 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 brood eruit gehaald. The, the comedy show, so I'm gonna take him through his first episode. I think it's one of the best series ever. I think it's better than Friends. Better than Friends? Yeah. Well, we'll see. Kids breakfast! Kids! Oh, would you get them? <laughs> you small-minded, ignorant- Ah! <laughs> oh, day! <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty funny series, right? It is, it is. First up. First up. If you had to choose between um, Friends and Modern Family. Modern Family. Modern Family. Okay, so Dennis and I were talking... Um, last video I shared a couple of tips uh, regarding sticking to your goals and some things that might help you. Tip number one, make a plan. Find something that you really, really like. Focus on frequency over intensity. Track your stuff. And yesterday Dennis and I were talking about another tip because what I see a lot is that when people are proceeding a goal that the moment something happens like for example people want to lose weight and then they eat a cookie and then they sort of have this mentality of like now everything is ruined I'm gonna quit the diet because I'm worthless um, so how do you see that as a personal trainer? Um, I think that people are so um like they're so focused on doing everything perfectly that every mistake is a major step back. Yeah, so as a exactly. Yeah, so as a person, <clears throat> I see that as something that you need to shift their focus on the things they're doing good and let them experience every step they gain while um, doing their diet. It's such a shame that when things went well for a couple of days or a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. then one setback is uh, shouldn't be the reason to lose everything. Yeah, and I think it's you. You do you don't do that with kids, right? When kids learn how to walk and the kid uh, the the child falls over again and again and again, you don't say to the child, ah, you know what, this whole walking thing, <laughs> just stop it. It's nothing for you. Like you should, you should try something else. But then we are that so we aren't that strict with children, but then we are that strict with ourselves. True. What what should they do whenever they have a small setback? They should put things in perspective as in, okay, what have you been doing good so far? Yeah. And what went wrong? And if you did, just put the these two things right next to each other, you see the, the things that you did well will overshadow that one thing that you yeah, did. Yeah, I totally agree. And that's that's I think the way you should see it. Keep going, you know? Yeah. Okay, so um, we have the day off. We're gonna do something cool. I've been thinking how our taste and music reflect our everyday lives. Around 10 or 12 years ago, the trend was all for new music. So we were driving on the freeway and then we saw the... What did you say again? A national park. Uh, a national park. And it's really beautiful, uh, beautiful because it has been snowing the last few days and it's a little bit foggy. Yeah, yeah. That just happened. I crashed the drone. <laughs> that was the first time. It's the first time that that ever happened, and it's also going to be the last time. The blade or the rotor just broke, um, but I think I can fix that. Well, we want to be over there, but then we need to go uh, through here. Okay, Dennis, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's drone attempt number two. Okay, would be cool if it works.
But hey, we did it, man. Hey, we did it. We're back at the car. There's a gimbal <laughs> vibration, vibration error. As in the gimbal is vibrating abnormal. Yeah. So I have to check that when I'm back. But now we're going to see if Melroy and Martijn are still there. Yep. We're here. Did I ever tell you that Melroy is such a good trainer? Like, he's super clear in his explanation. He writes really neat. I want to be like him when I grow up. Look at this. Laat hem Martijn. Oi, wat is het koud man? This guy, this guy wanted sushi. This guy didn't want sushi. We want pancakes. That's it. Hoppa. Yeah, so we we're eating pancakes. going for a pineapple pancake with extra bacon because and uh, some raisins and then uh, an extra raisins <laughs> and extra stuff like we ordered everything yeah and then this guy all natural <laughs> all natural I don't plain pancakes I'm not gonna do any crazy they just ordered a plain pancake and we're done oh fuck <laughs> <laughs> we are on our way back to Maslaus. That was a good day, right? It was a great day. We had a great day. Um, so what shouldn't they forget to do? You guys better subscribe to the YouTube channel, man. Just follow this. Okay, so we're getting out of here. My name is Bas and then Hollander. I don't have any middle names. Uh, but this guy, Melroy Harvey Ostra. Harvey is like um, the guy from the bad guy from no, Spider-Man. Yeah. Dennis told us that his actual name is Denise. <laughs> 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 Accidentally, in Ghana they put a put an E behind his name. 